Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I look a bit crazy, but this is the makeup look of the Katy Perry Witness album cover and I'm so in love with it because I love Katy Perry. Her music just makes me so happy and I feel like her style is like my style because she does like these crazy dating things. <laughs> so I'm going to be showing you how to create this look because as you know, she is coming to South Africa in July with Discovery and big concerts. I know, it's so exciting. So stay tuned till the end of the video where I'm going to tell you how you can win that tickets to see Katy Perry. Woo! So excited. So let's get started in creating this makeup look guys. Okay guys, so first things first, we have to prep our skin. It's a lot of makeup. So moisturize and prime is super, super important. Going in with my moisturizer. Primer. Okay, so I'm going to make this look really wearable for the concert. I know Katy Perry um, on the Witness album, she has a really white face. Uh, but we're going to just use our own foundation um, and then we're going to do that dramatic eye and dramatic lip. So I'm going to go in with my foundation. Okay, so foundation is done. You guys know what is next. You got to look snatched. So we're going to contour and highlight. I'm going in with my highlight first. A few shades lighter than your foundation. Then get your contouring shades. A few shades darker than your foundation. Contour those cheekbones, the forehead and down the nose. If you got a double chin, you know what to do. Then get out your favorite highlighter and we're gonna highlight those cheekbones. Then we're going to intensify and set the contour with a bronzer. So now the skin is done guys, we're gonna go on to the fun part, which is the eyes. So the first thing you wanna do, of course, don't forget this, is eyeshadow base. It's going to keep the eyeshadow and the eye look on for longer, stop it from piecing, and also intensify the colors that you use. So eyeshadow base is very important for this look. Okay, so to make this really easy for you guys, we're going to start off with a smoky eye and then add all of the fun colors afterwards. So I'm starting off with this red kind of purple shade and just placing this into my crease. Remember to always use circular motion so you get a nice blended look. Then I'm going to apply a really dark burgundy shade on my whole lid. want to take a black and go around the lash line underneath the black you want to add a red shadow now that you have the smoky eye done we're gonna add that purple from the outer corner of the eye into the hairline And then from the purple, it blends into a beautiful red shade and it goes kind of almost from my hairline into that purple line. As we add the colors, we're just going back into the purple, back into the red to intensify it. And then on top of this purple, there is a beautiful pink, and this goes onto the brow bone. And then we're going to add the white line on top of this pink. Then I'm just gonna add a bit more darkness around the smoky. 
Okay, the next step is the brows. You can see that she has quite a hard brow in this look. But remember guys, you're going, you are going out. You're not taking a picture for an album. So soften the brows up a bit. But we're going to create that very famous Instagram brow. So just fill in the brow. And then we're going to conceal around it. Now just take any white paint or any cream eyeshadow and then we're going to place this under the brow and it's going to blend into our shadows. So remember the white uh, paint, it doesn't have a hard corner, it's nicely rounded off the brow and then we're going to extend our brow on top of the white line and we're just taking a darker shade and intensifying that line so guys now I'm just adding some purple along my hairline and against this dark line that we created then the purple's done, all you have to do is add that hint of yellow that she has along the brow and also in the inner corner of the eye. Now that the eyes are done, we're going to be adding our lashes. While we wait for the glue to dry, we can just add our mascara. And then the last step guys is to add your red lipstick. So if you don't have short hair like Katie, all you want to do is just add some gel to your hair. Okay guys, that is the completed look of the Katy Perry Witness album cover. I hope you guys try this out for yourself, post it on Instagram and use the hashtag below and you could win double tickets to the concert. And if you are outside of Joburg, Big Concerts will be flying you there and putting you in a hotel overnight. So get out your brushes and have some fun. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching.